It's Christmas Day. So maybe we'll have a Christmas miracle, but I yeah. doubt it. I have my doubts. Also, I only have about 40 minutes before my family is going to ruin my attempt. Because their goal in life is to prevent me from doing the things that I think are important. I had a revelation last... last week. I think in, like, sort of semi-sleep state of mind, where I think the um, music, if you beat Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, is basically the same music as when you die in this game. So when you die in this game, it goes dun 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 and in that game, the end song is dun 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 So it's like they took the death music and made it triumphant. It's pretty cool, huh? They were like, you know what people would like is to feel like they triumphed over that really difficult Mario game that no one's ever beaten. At least no, no kids. When they turn 39, that's when they're at their prime and most likely to beat it. I should probably run more this, this playthrough take a little bit more risk for the sake of saving time. <laughs> this could be the new Christmas tradition. I'll play this game and I, I won't do any other Christmas festivities until I finish it. I think my family would be very understanding of that. How torturous it must have been to like, if you got a Nintendo in like, the late 80s for Christmas. And you're all excited about it, and then it's like, okay, turn that off. Your uncle is coming over for dinner, and you're like, God damn it. There's nothing I'd rather less do than have this dinner. And nothing I'd rather more do than play Nintendo. And I can't do both now. Oh, that was close. Uh-oh. may have boned myself. Again. Ah! We got through World 1 in 4 minutes. So if I go through all the worlds at that speed, it should only take me about 32 minutes to beat the game. This kind of goes against what my original plan was for this. The next time I was taking a crack at this, I thought maybe what I'll do is try and get as many coins and lives as possible so that I can have more than three shots at the the last world, especially because then once I get to 8-3, I could uh, possibly make it. Or like... I won't get to 8-3 with one or maybe two lives. And if I did get to the castle, maybe I'd have more than one chance at the castle, which would be ideal. But, uh, who, who has the time for that shit? Not me. No time for coins. The Pete Turns 40 story. These uh, squid really have been giving me a lot more trouble than they used to. I don't know why. Shit! Shit, shit, shit.
Shit, shit, shit! Going fast is working well. Summary. castles in this Mushroom Kingdom. Little tiny castles, though. It's like big enough for one. It's a studio castle apartment. So here we go. This is the one where Prune Master Flex demands speed. <laughs> that level used to be so difficult for me as a child. But now it's like not that difficult. That's like the one that's changed the most, I think. In difficulty for me. And I guess I should have got that fla fire flower. Well, what can you do? Can't win them all! Or, oh shit. Or in my case with this game, can't win it ever. Ho ho ho. Yeah, that was the danger zone. But I made it. Ta -na -na -na. Um, yeah. I'm at 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Well, and that's of recording time. So I'll end up cutting off a little bit of that. Because it was syncing video and audio time. So I'm doing pretty good. The levels do get longer, though. And there's a very increased chance of my my demise as I go. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at those sproings. Oh shit. I wanted to be big. This is the extra life trick and I I was reading about it in a like book you could buy at the time, and it said it's easier to do it if you're Big Mario. Well, not even close. Okay. Ugh. Got a text of a cat. Doing a cat thing, I guess. What's she doing? Sitting in a desk chair in the home office. On Christmas? Your mom should not be forcing her cat to work on this of all days. If they're tired, if you're tired, they're tired. If you're on vacation, they're on vacation. Our heat was out last week for a while, and I was thinking about those things that are like, if you're cold, they're cold. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I think I could put together that a dog would probably be cold in this house right now. But I'm like, what would I do about it? I'd be like, bro, we're all in the same boat here. I don't know what to tell you. You're just gonna have to curl into that tight dog ball where your nose is basically up your butt. And that's how you stay warm. I'm a speedrunner now. Look at me go. 
I guess if you're a speedrunner, you wouldn't want fireworks. Because that would slow you down, right? The wait for him. Seems like a shame. Oh shit! Whew. That was a close one. I didn't think that was gonna work out. I need to get used to not trying to go over the top on Bowser, though. Like the Sylvester Stallone movie, I need to get used to going under. Because once he starts throwing hammers, I think over is not an option anymore. Wheel! Damn it. I thought that was going to be worth doing. And like most things in life, it wasn't. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, the question is, can I get through World 4 without dying again? Because if I can, I should keep going. If I can't, I should die. Start at the beginning with all my lives. And then not have to go back so far when I lose this last life. This would be a really frustrating game to speedrun because, like, when you're waiting for the clock to tick down and stuff, you'd just be like, oh, come on. Go. Fireworks go off, you're like, oh, go, go. Run! I bet it was comforting for Mario when he got to the Mushroom Kingdom to discover they did have steel girders and bricks. It's like, there are things I recognize here. And pipes, even though the pipes are giant. But the bricks are regular. Pipes giant, bricks regular, steel girders seem also regular. It's nice for him. I'm happy for him. Oi. Poing, poing, poing. Oh, ho, ho. I got a one up. Still pretty much on track for four minutes per world. I'm at 15 minutes right now. In this maze, I think I've got figured out. Whoa. I know how to do this and nothing can stop me. <laughs> Suck on that. -na -na -na. But this is about when it starts to get challenging-ish. So this could be where the trouble begins.
Usually I don't kill this many things, but you know. Desperate times. Call for lighting everyone you know on fire. Go! Go! Oh, come on! I don't have time for that. By the way, when I was playing the other day, um, I was running full speed in front of a bullet for like a really long time and it was right behind me. You would have hated it. Spoon Master Flex is here, everyone. Doing a granny craft in the background. It is a granny craft. Crochet? Yeah. And so do grannies. Do you prefer I call it something other than a granny craft? Elder adult craft? Adults, adults that we respect very much craft because of their wisdom and experience. That's why you're doing it, because you're wise and experienced in matters of adult. Aw, oh, shit. Don't like that. Pow! Oh god. This is gonna sound very expected, but I think in trying to go fast, I may slow myself down. <laughs> Coming as a surprise to absolutely no one. I think that's what's happening. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Run, run, run. No! <laughs> he got me. I think the game cheated me, but you know. Okay, it would be good to not die on this time. Because I will have to do this entire world all over. Oh shit. It's okay. This makes it easier to dodge these fires. Because I'm little. That was an encouraging message that Mario gave to children, was like, sometimes being little, oh shit, can be to your advantage. So close. I know. That's like where I died last time, too. I was like about to touch the axe. And I died. Oh man. Yeah, I would have been on track for four minutes per world if I'd finished that. But now I'm desperately off track. So I'm at 36 minutes to beat the game. And I had 40. So I think I can afford to screw up another world one more time before I'm going to be basically out of time. If you're watching this, and you're part of the family I'm about to Skype with, or whatever, just know, this is your fault. That I can't achieve my dreams. I'm not saying you're preventing me from... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You're preventing me from achieving my dreams, and I hope you're happy. I kinda like what I don't like about Skype, too. Oh shit. Is that, like, if this was a phone call phone call, I could, like, fold my laundry or something. But I feel like I can't do that on Skype. Which is unfortunate. 
Especially because, like, it's family. I know what they look like. They know what I look like. What do they think they're gonna see me and be like, Wow, you look really great all of a sudden. That's probably not gonna happen. Just, just so anyone who's potentially gonna Skype me knows, I don't think I'm gonna look better than the last time you saw me. I think once you get past the age of 35, that becomes not a thing. Yeah. So get ready for that. You just, you look worse with every passing day. And you feel worse. I thought about maybe I should get really um, overweight. And then that way when people see me the next time, they'll be like, ooh, he doesn't look so good. And then the time after that, they'll be, and then I, you know, really get in shape. It's not that I care about it, it's just adds some interest and intrigue to the whole thing. I was just looking at, I have on a bookshelf a uh, Ben Cooper Spider-Man costume, like with the mask and the smock, and it says it fits children that are 5'3 to 5'8 which is probably bullshit, because it didn't fit me even remotely close. And I'm only like an inch and a half outside of that range. Yeah, I'm only... I'm a half inch shorter than Pee Wee Herman. For anyone who's never heard that story, we were watching the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and I was like, Pee Wee is so tiny. Like, and I think maybe they cast big actors and or did some like, you know, Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings shit to make him look um, shorter and you know, more petite. This is impossible. Um, but anyway, I was like if I'm shorter than Pee Wee, I'm gonna kill myself and I looked him up and he's a half inch taller than I am. I was just so confident. I was like, I'm not going to be shorter than Pee Wee. I'll kill myself if I'm shorter than Pee Wee. And then I was like, well, either I'm going to have to do something I don't really want to do or go back on a promise. I know they say never go back on your word, but this might be a case where it's okay. <laughs> It was like, there was a period where me and Poonmaster Flex were watching movies, and it seemed like the primary interest in the movies was the height of various people, because, like, we watched Space Jam, and Poonmaster Flex got, like, a, a measuring tape to see how tall Sean Bradley was, so, like, stuck it on top of her head to see where the top of her head would be if she was as tall as Sean Bradley. Tape measure, not a measuring tape. What the hell? I don't even know anything. He's really tall. He's seven something. I think. And it was hard to imagine. There was another time, I don't know why we were on this, but we were looking up like giant manta rays and measured that out and it was like our entire living room. Oh yeah, we watched an Earth, an Earth show, which are kind of banned from our house now because of me. Because I'm like, I don't want to watch a baby or anything getting eaten. John Bradley is seven foot six. <laughs> That's ridiculously tall. <laughs> All right, I'm about a minute and a half behind with two levels to go. So I'm going to be about three and a half behind if everything goes to plan here. So I made up a little time. About 30 seconds. <laughs> Mario looks extremely jaundiced. Maybe they didn't have citrus in the mud. Oh my god. That was a spectacular jump directly into a bullet. That was the second one. 
did it twice in a row. Okay. Back in the situation. I got one life left. Oh no! I really hate these things. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so now I'm probably eight minutes behind. So I would need 12 plus 8, 20 minutes to beat the game. So that's going to put me about three minutes late to my call, which is fine. I'm going to just keep going. But if I lose again, I might, I might have to be done. Christmas Day. Wizard's Chess. Okay, so we've decided in this house that Harry Potter is unofficial Christmas fair. There's just something Christmassy about it. But then when we were looking at lights last night, uh, my mom was asking about Baby Yoda. She didn't. She had no idea. She's like, "Is that like a Star Wars thing or like what is that?" And I was like, so I had to kind of explain the Baby Yoda phenomenon to her, which is really weird if you've never explained it to someone who pays no attention to Star Wars. Not only has she not seen the show... Oh yeah, I haven't seen the show, yeah. I, I only know about it from a phenomenon standpoint. I don't know anything about Baby Yoda, other than it's Baby Yoda. It's not really Baby Yoda, maybe, or like it has a different name. But you know, everyone's gonna just call it Baby Yoda, because fuck it. And yeah, I was trying to explain to my mom how this came about, and then why, but then also sort of like saying, I think Star Wars is trying to make itself, position itself as a Christmas motif. Like, it's like, oh yeah, Star Wars. When I think of Christmas, I think of Star Wars. Which isn't horrible. Because I'm like, I guess if you're, like, Jewish or something, that would be a pretty good alternative to Christmas. Like, why don't you just watch Star Wars? Or, like, if they were going to show it on a... Well, I guess they don't, like, show things on TV like that anymore. So, <laughs> I don't know how that would work. But, uh... Yeah, if you're like, I don't, I don't want to watch about Mr. Heat Miser. Oh my god, I did it again! Do you think that's what Britney Spears' song was about? <laughs> I jumped into that bullet again on World 6-3. Can you believe it? I'm Britney Spears. Um... But I don't know, at the same time, I'm like, I think some, like, a lesser franchise should become the Christmas thing. I'm like, does Star Wars need any kind of additional attention? You know, like, can't, couldn't, like, Evil Dead be the Christmas franchise or something? Because it's like, well, that's a little bit more, or like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies or something could become unofficial Christmas. Because they could use a little boost. But I'm like, Star Wars doesn't need shit. Star Wars is doing just fine on its own. Without, like, glomming on to Christmas. Yes! Okay, so according to my calculations, it should take me about another eight minutes to beat this game. So... Yeah. So <laughs> I've got... And I've got 13. So maybe I can fuck up one more time on a one of these worlds and still make it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? <laughs> oh my god. I know one of these things. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Did you just almost laugh again? Oh no! <laughs> That's the end of the level. That's the end. Oh my gosh. Good thing I d calculated that I could mess up again, huh? 
really uh, feel like I gave myself permission to play this way. Well, once again, failed. To get infinite lives. If I could get that to work one time, I'd be golden. I've never even come close to making that work. I try every time, but I mean, me trying is not exactly like anything re approaching a guarantee of success or a likelihood of success. Go, go, go. So many fish. I think these fish have the dopiest expression of any creatures in this world. Just like mouth wide open, like dumb. Don't even know where they're going. I made it. That one's become pretty iffy for me. For some reason. I was like, had no trouble with it, and then the last few times I played, had a lot of trouble with it. Yeah. Here's the second one of these. I think walking is actually the, the trick. That's not fair. The way you just said okay, it's like, well, if you die, we'll know why. Yep. It's because you chose to- oh my god. Yep. Because you chose to walk. Yep. <laughs> Every time I wait for one to pass, it's like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what just happened there is I was trying to jump, but I got hit from below by the thing, so the jump didn't count, and so then I just fell into the abyss. Okay, I have ten minutes. Plenty of time. That leaves me four minutes per whirl remaining, plus two minutes to revel in the victory. I don't know what exactly kind of little cartoon I'm treated to at the end of this game, but I'm sure it's probably pretty spectacular. Probably about 20-some minutes, so my family may just have to wait. Oh god! Look at all the things on screen to kill me right then. Sometimes I think maybe I shouldn't, like, just run and keep the bullets on screen. But then I come to my senses. No, up. Go up. 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 No! No! <laughs> These bastards are the worst thing in this game. Well, I got another shot at infinite lives. Ready? Nope. It doesn't even look like I'm trying to do that thing. It just looks like I'm doing, hitting the guy. I read a, a book online, so one of the, the tenets of this is I can use like tools or cheats that were available at the time. So I was reading a book like How to Win at Nintendo Games that was trying to explain that trick, but I was like, this is really not well explained. I had tried to do it like years ago. I was like, I'm just going to try and do it until I get it. And that'll be like something I try to do as a challenge. And I got so sick of trying to get it. And then I would read like thing after thing that explained it. And like nobody on the entire internet can like thoroughly explain how to do it and that oh god oh boy <laughs> I'm so trapped oh no oh no okay I have exactly eight minutes just enough time to beat the game Yeah, 
It takes me four minutes per world. Basically a minute per level. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. Getting a little behind. Should I make a video where I just don't show up for my family Skype? And then send it to them and be like, here's what happened. <laughs> you gotta understand, I was having a mediocre Mario run. <laughs> the bullets really never run out of steam, do they? Alright, here we go. Oh my god! Oh! Did you see me dodge those bullets? It was amazing. See, if I didn't run past the bullets, I would never get those opportunities. To really amaze. It's what keeps our relationship spicy. <laughs> I see the look of love you give me when I do that. That's what... Well, I never said a look of love requires eye contact. <laughs> yeah. You can look at love... You can look at me with love while looking at something else. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so bad at these waters! I also want to get onto a thing and figure out, like, how many coins remain between world, like, 7, 1, oh shit. World 7-1 in the end of the game. Whew! I can't believe I escaped that. That was nuts. Because I'm like, there might not be a hundred coins between now and the end, so it's like, maybe at this point there's, you know, like at some point in the game there's no reason to collect further coins. You finished your crochet. Well, must be nice. I'm almost done. I only have uh, six levels left, so about about six minutes. No! <laughs> that was because I was running. I just want you to know. It was. Running is the problem. He tore his ACL and couldn't make the jump. Oh my god. Mario. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have five minutes left. I cannot beat the game in five minutes. I can take one more shot at trying to get the infinite lives. So I'm gonna do that. Because if I get the infinite lives, then I could just leave the Nintendo on all day. Uh, with those lives. And then, uh... Play it this evening. As I can imagine many a child doing... Originally playing this. If they made it to world 7 2 with 99 lives. Oh, yeah, but so I, before when I was trying to do the infinite lives, I looked on a bunch of forums and stuff, and every single person, it was like, oh my god. It was the same story, which was my dad could do it. Everybody's dad seemed to be the ace at getting the infinite lives trick. And it seemed to be like fathers and sons. And I was like, how did all these dads learn how to do this? I was like, was this some kind of like magical thing Nintendo sent to dads and was like, here's how to do it? And that's why you can't find any like really good explanation of how to do it, because it's like, it was supposed to be a thing for dads to impress their sons. So they were like, I know we're making Nintendo, and so it's going to like test your relationship with your son. <gasps> no! I almost had it! That was almost it! Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. I have time to go one more time because I blew it so badly already. Okay. Um, so I was like, maybe Nintendo was like, we identify with the struggles of dads. They were trying to like, rebuild the American family. You know, they're like, too many deadbeat dads leave their kids in the lurch. We want to create, forge memories, forge bonds between dads and kids. So we'll teach dads how to do this trick. Maybe this is how I become a dad. I didn't pay super attention in health class. 
So maybe it's like once you can do the infinite lives trick, someone comes by and drops you off a sun. <laughs> That's how you get one. They're like, here you go. Here's your sun. You did the infinite lives trick. Here's your sun. Dad teaches you the infinite lives trick. Te oh, damn it. Teaches you the popcorn trick. I might still be able to make it. It's 1258. Infinite lives trick later teaches you the popcorn trick and then then he's like I've taught you everything I know. Oh my god. Bullets have little arms. Is that what they have onto the sides? What is a living bullet going to do with little arms? Shit. Shit. It's gonna have to be the last... last hurrah. Must go fast. Ooh! How are they both on the bottom? All right, here we go. Let that bullet cruise by. Nope. All right. I'm a failure. Once again. Goodbye. <laughs>